Let us pray together. O Lord, you are our King. You rule over our lives. You are Lord of the universe. And we acknowledge your authority. We pledge our lives to your service and we give thanks that you have invited us to be citizens of your kingdom. Now teach us, Lord, how it is that we should live in this kingdom, how you would ask us to act one to another. Show us how to love you and to love our neighbor in ways that reflect the values, the intentions of your kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We lift up our hearts before you as we travel to the Thanksgiving holiday ahead. I pray for your blessing on all of the homes and gatherings that this community will be a part of. In large groups, in small groups, even if someone gathers alone, Lord, bless them with the spirit of your presence and the awareness of it. We pray for those who may travel. We ask for their safety and also for the health of the wider community, not only the nation, but the world. Even as we pray for your blessing on the homes gathered here, we pray for the homeless. Those will have no shelter to gather in this Thursday. We pray for the hungry, those who do not have a means to feast. We pray for those who are sick, those who will spend the holiday in the hospital or at home in beds. We pray for the grieving and the challenge before them in the week ahead. Help them, Good Shepherd, and use us in some way as a means of your compassion in their lives. So we pray for the poor and the poor in spirit. And we pray for those who live in the midst of violence or thirst for justice or in desperate circumstances. Lord, thank you for being a different kind of king. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for the goodness and kindness that typifies your reign in our lives. Thank you that your kingdom is unlike any kingdom in this world. We pray as your citizens, as you've taught us to pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.